Hola, Muthani here. Can you believe it? We've made it to episode five. I was about to say with five. We've made it to episode five and I am like super duper excited. I am so happy to be getting back into the groove of making videos. So if you're new here and you have no idea what this is about, this is It's a Wrap, which is an entertainment segment that I produce every single Friday and <laughs> not every single Friday, but I will be producing every single Friday where we look at all the cool juicy stuff that has happened during the week and not just in Kenya but in Africa and the world at large. Before I just talk your ear out, let's get started. The most righteous man in Kenya is at it again. Kenya Film and Classification Board CEO Ezekiel Mutua has been doing rounds in Nairobi, inspecting matatus to find out which ones are screening porn to those poor passengers. Are you doing this incognito though, Mr. Mutua? Because with that kind of mustache, someone might just mistake you for a cast member. So Valentine's was this week. Hope you got some. And by some, I mean condoms because, you know, safe sex. I suppose that's why free condoms are being dished out at Huduma centers across the city this week. Your government wants to be on your mind even in your most intimate moments. But then a story broke about fake condoms in the country. I see what you did there, government of Kenya. Fucking us both metaphorically and literally. All we need now is a government sanctioned tissue paper and we would become a fully fledged shithole. Speaking of Valentine's Day, South Africa's Jacob Zuma chose that day to break up with his country? How classy. Zuma ended his nine-year presidency following a lot of corruption and nepotism allegations, which, in my opinion, doomed him from the benign... Ben I mean, ben what's the word again? In the beninging. In the... In the bini... In the beninging. Yeah, in the, in, in, uh. the movie Black Panther premieres worldwide today. So by tomorrow, don't be shocked if your Twitter feed reads Wakanda forever. Honestly, it's a great movie. And what a great gift the residents of Kisumu County received courtesy of Lupita's association with Kenya. A special screening was done three days before the rest of the world, but I wouldn't be surprised if the cinema wasn't full. Looking at this poster, one would make the honest mistake of thinking this is some low-budget Nigerian movie. Wait, scratch that. A Nigerian movie. The Joint Admissions Board of Nigeria shocked the nation when it was announced that a snake was responsible for the disappearance of 36 million naira. And how could a snake get away with the equivalent of 10 million in cash? Here's the shocker. The snake didn't hack into the bank's mainframe. Instead, it ate the cash. This happened in the same Nigeria where, back in 2008, the government pumped $40 billion to build a satellite that just vanished. The same Nigeria where, last year, a bunch of rats kicked out the president from his office. The same Nigeria where, last week, the emergency door of a plane came off just as the plane was taking off. At this point, I feel like Nigeria is that country that listens to other African countries tell their crazy stories, then just goes like, hold my beer. Finally, since we like to end things on a positive note, the future of food is bright. For researchers have just found an ingredient so abundant, it will literally never run out, even if we had a nuclear holocaust. Ready for it? Introducing cockroach bread. And yes, it is exactly what you think it is. So long story short, a bunch of scientists with either too much curiosity or too much free time or both plus funding discovered that when you rear cockroaches, feed them fruits and vegetables, wait till they are adequately large and scary and then crush them into a pulp, you get an awesome substitute to regular bread. The Food and Agriculture Organization says yes to this because apparently, Roach bread helps combat waste and pollution. I'll let you chew on that. And it's a wrap. It's such and getting high in love. We're invincible. Trust in me. We're in
Don't you?